What's up guys, welcome to Daily Refinement. This is episode two of Reseller Masterclass and I'm gonna go over the exact supplies that you need to get started reselling on any platform, eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, Amazon, it's all gonna be the same setup and I'm gonna go over my exact setup that I use every single morning. So please smash the like button, consider subscribing to this series and my channel and we'll see you guys inside. Before we get into the video, I want to stress that you don't need a lot of money or space to start this kind of business. You need to start with just your cell phone and then build each piece of equipment on top of that so you can see how it all fits together. If you go out and buy all this equipment at once, you won't understand what each piece is doing for your business and you need to start mechanically thinking that way because it's really, really easy to make 10 or 12 changes in your business and not understand how the pieces work together and how it can improve your flow. It's really important guys that you start with just your phone. So for me personally, doing a listing from start to finish on a cell phone takes between two and four minutes. On a computer and using a camera, it's under two minutes. So you need to do this flow first time on your cell phone all the way through to understand why eventually you wanna to move to a computer. So it's really important on this channel and in this series, I'm gonna teach you guys why things work together so that you can really get the most out of your system. You wanna invest as much money as you can into your inventory as you're getting started. I see a lot of people making the mistake of spending a lot of money on expensive equipment. So in the beginning, if you're starting with just a cell phone, you wanna print your labels at the post office or at the library for free or for 10 cents a page and save money on costly equipment. But you really need to do this because I personally did this in the very, very beginning. I went to the post office and had them scan for the code while using my phone only. And I got my first shipping supplies out of the garbage and I went to the dollar store to get scotch tape. So in the beginning, it only cost me really about $1 to get started, $1 for the scotch tape. I just recycled shipping materials out of the garbage. So in the beginning, when you learn how to be resourceful, it's gonna be the foundation to build a really big business. The first investment I would get in your business is a printer. And before you get an expensive thermal printer, I would just use a regular printer. And with the paper, I would just tape on the label with scotch tape. And the next improvement would be getting the label paper that has two sides of the label. This is gonna save you time because you're gonna peel it off and stick it on the box. And if you actually count the expense of the tape, it might actually be cheaper to use this type of paper, but I don't want you to waste money on a thermal printer in the beginning because there's several hundred dollars and a regular printer is definitely under 100. So when you get started, you wanna save as much money as possible. And I'm gonna reiterate that 20 times during this video because I didn't understand this when I started and it really made me lazy by buying stuff that I didn't need. So step two is after you're doing everything from your phone and just using the library's computer and you wanna invest in a lighting kit and camera, I recommend a basic point and shoot camera. So we recommend the Canon Elf. So this is the camera that my colleague Tech and Sports uses in our group. And he's taken probably 5 million photos with this camera. And the reason why we select this camera is it's a few years old. It's easy to find. It's easy to find replacement parts. You can find them used. This camera is like the workhorse for a lot of real estate companies, a lot of construction companies, just a basic point and shoot, but any camera will do. We recommend 32 uh, gigabyte memory cards and having several of them as a backup instead of having one giant one. And you wanna get a, a writing speed as fast as possible. And then you wanna get an SD card reader that you can plug the SD card into. And that way you can just transfer the photos directly from the card onto your listing without having to transfer them onto the computer. And that's gonna save you a tremendous amount of time. Um, I don't recommend you actually store the photos beyond a month or two because you can just um, take the photos quickly again if you have to, and that storage space is expensive. So I recommend transferring the photos directly with this SD card directly into the listing instead of the hassle of translating the photos onto your desktop. So I recommend a couple of extra batteries, a couple of extra chargers, if you can afford a couple extra cameras when you get down there and start with taking your photos outside. So nothing can beat daylight. Daylight in the shade or in an area where it's a little bit softer is gonna give you tremendous photos that you can't replicate with artificial lighting. Um, I do recommend the company Newer. I'm not sponsored by them, but they make great quality photo equipment. I recommend two front facing photo lights when you are taking pictures inside, nothing fancy. The bigger the room, the softer the light. If you wanna combine outside lighting with the lighting in the room, with the lighting of the lighting kit, you're gonna get a lot of different kinds of light. So make sure if you're trying to create consistent photos, you wanna have as consistent of lighting as possible. But the basic photo setup is 
use something like a gray carpet or a neutral background is what eBay recommends. Neutral background, they don't, they no longer recommend white background. I recommend gray background because it adds like a gray card element to help you get the truest color in your listing. And that's what your customer wants is the true color. So for years I did white background. I experimented with every single kind of way to delete it, delete the background. So it was a perfect white, but it increased my returns and it also, um, Kenny gave a unfair uh, representation of the item. When people got it, it never looked as nice as the gallery type photo I was taking. So I'm moving more towards the some dude's house look, which is just a gray background, um, simple neutral background. And the lighting kit, if you get something like this, it can be stored easily. And again, a lot of people are working with not a lot of space. Me personally, um, I was in a 400 square foot condo and now I'm in a 1000 square foot house. There's not a lot of room. So stuff for me that I can put away and pack away is something that I recommend because you may be working with a very limited amount of space. I think that you need about a 10 by 10 space, which is 100 square feet, to really have everything set up where you don't have to move it. Um, if you have to move it around, then obviously you can work in a smaller footprint, maybe a five by five space, if you're taking it down and putting it away. But a dedicated photo space is really important. So now you have your camera set up. You're gonna have the camera, the SD card reader, the SD, and if you wanna upgrade your laptop, I recommend getting a MacBook Air. You can get a simple refurbished one between $300 and $700. If you get the Intel chip, which is before the M1 chip that's currently being used, it's a little bit more stable, but it's slower. The M1 chip is much faster, but it's a little bit more unstable from my experience. Again, the one that I use at work is a 2010. It's 12 years old and it has the Intel chip and it's, it basically runs exactly the same every day. So once you have this set up, you still need to actually do the work. So I'm gonna go over my exact desk setup and go over how that should help you be a lot more productive. All right, guys, this is where a lot of people get caught up. So I'm going to show you my exact workflow. I just finished taking my photos with my point and shoot. I'm going to take the SD card out. I'm going to walk up to my desk. This is actually the FlexiSpot Pro standing desk. This is the E7 version. So I'm going to walk up to my standing desk and plug in the memory card into the SD card reader. So now it's plugged in. Now I can use my camera photos immediately. I'm gonna set my camera down. You can notice in this area, I actually don't have my phone. If I use my phone to take the pictures, I would actually transfer my photos this way, either using AirDrop or using a memory card reader for an iPhone, because I use the iPhone. They also have that available for Droid. So essentially, I come in with my photos, transfer them over, and I'm gonna immediately get to work. So I normally start with my standing desk on the treadmill, so I walk until I get tired and then I'm actually going to adjust the desk back down to a sitting position. So I'm going to do that while I go over the rest of it, but I am going to lower the desk using the memory. So essentially once I get tired, I'm going to roll my uh, treadmill out of the way. I'm going to do that right now because I want to show you guys exactly what it looks like. So I'm going to unplug the treadmill, roll it out of the way. And now I'm going to get to work. It's really important not to have any distractions in the way while you're listing because it can really add up when it comes to task switching. So I get here and I do all my listings start to finish. It essentially takes about 60 to 90 seconds to do a listing when you're not distracted. It can take up to 20 minutes per distraction. So it's really important not to get distracted while you're doing your listings. I recommend the order being ship all your items first, then sit down, do all your listings start to finish in one sitting. For most people listing under 30 items a day, it's going to take less than one hour to get your listings done if you're not distracted. So it's important important to make sure to have good posture when you're sitting, have a cup of coffee, have some water and just get your work done.